So anyhow, uh, the Germans uh, uh, started an offensive and uh, came over a big open field and they were uh, uh, preceding the actual offensive by the, uh, the individuals. There was a, a lot of artillery fire, German 88s that came in. And uh, the Germans were dressed in white camouflage snowsuits, so they were difficult to see because of all the snow. And during the course of the artillery fire, um, uh, one of the shells hit my sound power line and, and destroyed it. So I had no communication from where I was to where our guns were. So as a section sergeant, I had a runner who was my assistant. And so uh, we both went back uh, to try to fix the sound power line. Well, we, we finally found where the break was and we fixed the lines and then after we had the lines fixed, I just happened to look up and here were about uh, 15 German soldiers in white camouflage snowsuits, about, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, 50 feet away. And I tried my, I, had, I carried a carbine and uh, my runner carried an M1 and we both tried uh, our guns and the bolts were frozen shut so you couldn't, we couldn't fire the guns and the guy said to me, what are we going to do? And I said, well, we're going to lie as close to the ground as we can and pray a lot and see if they miss us. Well, they did. We were really fortunate. So we went back up to, at that time, then to our gun emplacement, or to our uh, forward observing uh, observation point. And we were doubly lucky again because when we got back up there, uh, everybody but uh, four people, the lieutenant and, uh, and uh, three other people were dead because the Germans had come through, threw grenades into the uh, anti-aircraft positions and killed them all. So who knows what would have happened to me uh, if I had been there. Well then when we got back up there, uh, uh, here were these people, uh, the German soldiers coming over this valley, but uh, we needed to have some artillery fire, the lieutenant said. And uh, he said, if any of you people ever know anything about directing artillery? And I said, well, I've never directed artillery fire, but I, I know how to direct a mortar fire, and I think it's probably halfway decent, or halfway similar. So he said, well, go ahead and see what you can do. So he connected me with the guns that were back there, and we got the artillery coming over, and we were very fortunate. Uh, a couple of shells came really, really close till I got them online, and and we were able to stop uh, the advance at that point. And uh, after the after it was all over, I uh, I received a bronze star for uh, for doing that. I think that was probably exaggerated, but anyhow, I'm proud that I got it. <laughs>